good to have you back again um yeah so today we're going to be talking about reading as promised in my previous video i said i'll be doing some reading sessions um and and basically this is to help you as a parent or a guardian to support your child with her reading uh, so it's it's mostly geared towards helping the parent and the guardian although moving forward other than this session moving forward then the children might be able to follow through as i do the sessions as well then they will be really helpful and meaningful to them so reading um what do i what does reading entail when you hear reading i mean for some of us we were so lucky we just started reading we, we just taught lines alphabet and then somehow miraculously we started reading now today in the current curriculums reading has been really simplified into one basic um, subject called phonics phonics is the study of sound so i'm just gonna call it sounds although it's a study it's a study of sounds that's what phonics is and um children today are privileged to do this in some schools as a subject in their early years um, of schooling and i want to focus on the phonics today and some of the terms that teachers might use uh, that might look a little confusing to you as a parent so to begin with we have the alphabet i mean there's no reading without the alphabet because these are letters of the alphabet that I'm using to write. I can't read, I can't write without the alphabet. So it's really important that your child knows the alphabet. These are now the names of the letters. Um, I find this really basic and important for every child to be able to name the letters of the alphabet and to understand what vowels are. That is the A, E, I, O, are and what the consonants are any other letter that's not a vowel really important because this forms a really good base for their some of their grammar in the later life now for example when they're adding the determinants are in and to words they have to know that a word starting with a vowel takes an and a word starting with a consonant takes a so then if they don't know the alphabet and the vowels and consonants, it's become really tricky for a child to understand that particular concept of grammar at that point in life. No, that's basically grammar. It has nothing to do with the phonics bit of it. Yeah, and then some other terms I would like us to focus on that I might uh, be talking about every once in a while is uh, something we call a phoneme. Now, not to scare you, a phoneme is just a sound in the English language or any other language. It's just a sound. Uh, for example, we have a, b, k, d. Oh yeah, forgot to mention this. The alphabet nowadays is learned in sounds or phonemes. And like before, when we would learn the alphabet as letters, we would do A, B, C, D, but now they're doing a, b, k. The whole idea is to help them identify the sounds um, as they're reading um, through their reading life. So the phoneme is just a sound. A ah, is a phoneme. D is a phoneme. Later we will look at phonemes such as A, phonemes such as um, A, well, make the same sound. Those are also phonemes and another a word that I might be using very often. Something else I'll be tempted to use is a grapheme now grapheme is just a symbolic representation of the sound symbolic representation of sound for example if I get in class and tell the children please write for me the sound e or rather the phoneme e and the child writes e then they read in a grapheme if I tell them write for me the phoneme, um, the, the phoneme d, and they do a d, 
then they've done for me a graphing so these are the symbols pretty much what you mean by symbols is how you write them how do you write the phonemes those are the graphemes then and, and we might have more graphemes than the letters of the alphabet all right a phoneme might have two or three graphemes for example the phoneme a sound a has two graphemes no it's actually more than two graphemes because you can write it like that you can write it like that you can write it like that all these are graphemes that are used to represent one phoneme i hope i make sense up to this point and then finally my favorite word in all this is blending just like when you do blend of, of your favorite juices to blend is to put together sounds to read words and now i'm going to do a tiny test on you blend this letters a k or other sounds k a and t to make a word if you put them together if you blend them you make the word cut blend this sounds r a mm. if you blend them you put them together you're able to make the word rain blending is really really important for your child because they might know the phonemes they might know how to write them but if they cannot blend them then reading becomes tricky so as a parent it's really 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 important that your child understands how to blend their sounds and blending is basically putting them together i'm gonna walk you through this from the simplest blends or rather simplest um phonemes you can put together to blend to the most tricky ones that we have that's it for now i think i have um exhausted everything i needed us to look at today i'm trying to make these sessions as as short and meaningful as possible so i'm gonna be doing very short sessions probably focusing on something in particular today i just thought let me focus on some some vocabulary that teaches my choose in reading and they may not teach you really they expect you to know but from working with parents um i realize they're quite tricky for them to get these definitions to understand when i tell the child based the sound we're doing this week is based on the phoneme um ah and then the child is having a hard time or rather the parent is having a hard time understanding what the teacher wants it just means we're looking at the sound ah and nothing more nothing complicated so i hope this really simplifies um the vocabulary of reading for you and i hope the sessions will be really useful not just for you but for me i mean um every day we're learning something new so if you're watching this and you're a teacher hit the comment button and kindly let me know uh, what your thoughts are on this uh, if you would like to add on to anything if you have any questions concerning um the, this reading session there's, there's more to this but i just picked out what i feel is really important at a very young age for a parent, parent to understand what i find the parents i work with struggling with the most and that's that's what i decided to bring to the table today so any comments any suggestions any questions kindly feel free to write them down for me and we will see how we will move on from there once maybe you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe so you're able to get um uh the videos as i release i like the word release them moving forward and and hit the the bell the notification bell so then you're notified every time i release release a new video um yeah and i hope uh with time we'll be able to walk this reading journey together with your insights otherwise may god bless you and thank you for watching